Hi Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. So let's get some messages and see what the universe wants you to know. So first we're going to get one card from this Angel Numbers Oracle deck. And then we're going to get some messages and then some tarot. Tarot messages do you have for Scorpio? What do they need to know? Alright, so this popped right out. We have 333. Growth, creativity, and vision. Seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward. Work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. All right, so the universe is saying it's time for um, you to take... I mean, um, seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time for focus. I feel like the universe is saying it's time for you to forget all about trying to help other people and give yourself support. There's things that you want to do. It says discover your talents and use your imagination and unleash things that are inside of you. So Scorpio, do you guys sit down and think about things that you could be doing and you should be doing, but you feel restricted or you feel trapped in some sort of way? This may be um, different for everyone. So it could be some of you want to go to school or you want to start a, um, a job, or like a new job. You want to leave the job you're at. And you're like, okay, this is a job that pays the bills, but this is not what I'm actually wanting to do with my life. You have some sort of vision. And the universe is saying it's time to evolve and discover whatever that is. It says, discover your talents, work on your skills. It's time to focus inward. Okay. All right. Because I can, right? Because this is what I want to do. I'm going to pull one more. <laughs> Let me just pull one more for you guys. So here, give me one more for Scorpio. Some of you may know someone who drive a motorcycle. Because I don't know why every time I do a reading, a motorcycle goes by. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I still haven't figured that out yet, y'all. For those of you who watch my readings all the time, you know. Every time it's like when I'm doing a reading. At some point, a motorcycle is going to go by. I don't know. I have to figure that out but anyway all right so here's the other card that the universe wants for you scorpio we have six 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 great blessings nurture yourself your needs desires and your boundaries let go of things that are weighing you down exactly scorpio make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life okay this could be an opportunity coming in for you um, of some sort and the universe is saying it's time that you get it so I feel like a lot of you have been worried about other people and other things and helping someone else out but the universe is saying it's time to put that same energy and effort towards yourself and things that you want to get done now is the time to do that all right let's get some message cards what messages do you have for Scorpio what do they need to know Stand in your power. All right, what is this about? Why am I hearing? I can and I will walk away from you if I have to. All right, I don't know where that just came from. I don't know. I don't know, Scorpio. Spare what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know? Waste of your time. We have the new moon, and we're going to get one more. Give me one more for Scorpio. Oh, the universe said two more. So you're showing up here in your own reading. So you mean business, right? Okay, cool, Scorpio. Some of you are not playing with somebody. This could be someone who's pretending not to care. I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. Or maybe this person is waiting for you to take action first especially if you guys are going through something you're not talking right now or things just seem very 
unsure you're like you're like i don't know how this person is feeling or thinking about me and they don't know how you're feeling and thinking about them but someone is holding back trying to act like they don't care but they're pretending we also have new moon a new start first phases look ahead pay attention to new people opportunities and experiences that the universe is going to put in your path so there's something new coming in for you whether it's a new person a new experience a new job something the universe is saying pay attention okay pay attention to any messages that may come your way um, in the form of dreams um, a sequence of numbers angel numbers and some of you feel like someone is a waste of your time. The universe is saying, don't ignore the red flags with this situation. Take action on it if need be and stand in your power. All right, so let's see. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? All that part just went to flip in a circle. Some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius. And you may be thinking about exiting this relationship. Someone wants out, but they aren't making a move just yet. Be prepared for sudden changes. So this may be you or your person. We have untrustworthy. So some of you feel like this, you can't trust this person. Um, you may wind up reconciling with someone against your better judgment, Scorpio. It says what, they want to work things out. They will return. But you're not sure about this. <laughs> How this person is looking at them like, I don't know. Like, I can't trust you. This person says, I've made mistakes and I've lied in the past. Will you ever trust me again? We also have Taurus energy here. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus as well. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you may feel like this person is stubborn. Even though there could be a lot of love between the two of you, um, sometimes it seems hard for you and this person to get on the same page. And you're not understanding why that is. You may feel like there's some sort of obstacle or blockage that this person is not telling you about. What messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know? Stagnation. Yeah, some of you are giving someone the cold shoulder or this person feels like you're giving them the cold shoulder. But there's unfinished business here. Someone could be rushing in soon. Yeah, you're being silent. You don't really have much to say to someone right now. You may be hiding out, just laying, just, you know, playing low key or not playing, but you know, just laying low key is what I meant to say. Um, but somebody feels like there's unfinished business. They're not done. You may be done, but this person isn't. We have rushing in, taking quick action and foolish they feel like a fool for crossing the line with you and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to take accountability and speak up on it. So they're just sitting back waiting, sort of like this card, maybe waiting for you. And I feel like some of y'all are like, I know they're not waiting for me because this is you. <laughs> You're like, I'm, you getting a cold shoulder from me. So what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know? We have third house. There's communication coming in. When the timing is right, the universe is saying you don't have to force this. If you're acting savage right now, continue to act this way. The universe is handling this. It says wait and be patient. Trust and surrender. Things must unfold when the timing is right. So if some of you are thinking about reaching out to this person or sending them a text message and you're trying to sort of figure out like, what do I need to say? Because the third house is all about communication. The universe is saying, keep your thoughts to yourself for now. Okay. There's no rush to judgment here. You don't have to um, say anything because I feel like, what is that saying? Um, actions speak louder than words. I feel like this person needs to see you act in this way so that they know um, that you're not just going to put up with whatever they're doing. So you don't need to keep telling this person that. You don't need to tell them anything. I'm hearing your best weapon right now may actually be your silence. It may be the cold shoulder, 
acting savage. Well, this may be how they, they're they seeing you and not really saying much right now. Thinking a lot, but not really saying. Not letting this person know what you're feeling and thinking may be uh, your best weapon here. So we'll see. Scorpio, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Why am I hearing too late? I already text them or, or told them off. <laughs> Some of y'all may be like, girl, too late. I text. Hey, hold up. You got a lot of cards that came out here. All right. Yep, we have communication. It says, listen to the guidance of your soul. And it says, expect a message soon. They want to express how they feel about you. Some of you are... Um, This is, if you're not talking to this person right now, or you guys are going through something, whatever it is, because it's going to be different for everyone. So take it how it resonates, right? But there could be a third party situation here. And you're either waiting for someone to tell the truth, or you already know the truth. And you're like, okay, what's going to happen with this? Like, are we going to be together? Or are you, it's going to be you and this third party? And if it's going to be you and this third party, then leave me alone. And this person knows that because we have awakening. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of what you're feeling and they recognize what you want in the connection. So this person knows they just have to make some sort of decision about what they're going to do. And maybe this is why the universe is saying you don't need to do anything right now. This is on them. So and when I say them, you know, place the situation how it is for you, how it resonates for you. But I feel like you're you may be trying to figure out like. How to make something work or what you should do and the universe is saying do nothing I'm hearing... that card just flipped right out of the deck the temperance card reverse sagittarius energy here again you feel like something is not balanced and you're wanting to fix it but the universe may be telling you nope like the, i'm hearing this is what you always do even when it's not your fault even when it's not your problem and the universe is saying no you want to change don't fix it let them fix it. That's how you're going to get this change that you want, Scorpio. We have the Empress. So you're good. Your person may not be, but you are. We have Divine Feminine, male or female energy because the, the cards in tarot are not gender-based. But um, I feel like you're making things work for you. You're very abundant right now. And whatever you want in life, you're making that happen for yourself. So why should you chase after someone or fix a situation that you fix a problem that you didn't create? No, continue to sit pretty on your throne and let this person come to you. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Yep, the page of swords. Some of you are ignoring someone. You're like, I don't even care to check on you. <laughs> like, I don't even care to stalk you. Stalk you for what? Some of you are like, stalk this person for what? No, you're hurting. You're disappointed with the three of swords. And whoever this person is, they know it. It could be a Leo here. They know that they're disappointing you. And I feel like this person is not going to... Um, if you keep trying to fix the situation, Scorpio, they're not going to do what they're supposed to do because they feel like you're going to just jump in and fix this. This person knows that you're unhappy. We have the three of swords in the sun surrounding them. There's some sort of change that needs to happen, but I feel like this person is resisting it for some reason. This may be someone who isolates themselves a lot. Um, from you when you don't understand why they do it and when you ask them about it it's like they give you some bullshit as excuse we have the five of pentacles this person may have money issues they may have some financial issues rather but they feel like they can't get on their feet all right, this card wanted to slide out of the deck. The King of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And they may always have an excuse about what they can and can't get done. And you're tired of hearing it because you make things happen. You showed up here as the Empress. So you're like, why can't you make things happen? Like, I get up every day and make shit happen. What's your problem? 
spirit messages do you have for Scorpio? The Three of Wands, the Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let me just stop here for a second. I feel like some of you have an opportunity coming in when it comes to career. You may have a new job. You may look, you may look for a new job and, and you may get it and start making more money. Or there's something coming in for you that's going to bring abundance, stability, and security. So if you're not already in this Empress status, the universe is saying you will be. Okay, some of you are already there now. And if not, you will be soon. With this Ace of Pentacles, we have the Lovers and the Hierophant Reverse. Yes, yeah, some of you are like, listen, I want to move forward. I want to move to the next level. You feel like you've been at the same level with this person forever. You're like, yeah, I love you, right? And this may even be a twin flame for you, Scorpio. We have Taurus energy. We have Gemini energy here. We have Cancer. Sagittarius again. King of Wands is here as well. There is some conflict here. And I feel like some of you are like, I, I've been like talking about this forever. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm hearing lies, lies, and more lies. Do you know how to tell the truth? You'll learn when I walk away from you. Some of you are silently um, pulling away from your person. Like slowly but surely, because with the Knight of Wands reverse, the Chariot reverse, the Hierophants reverse, and then we have the Five of Wands. So you're tired of the conflict with someone. You're tired of things not changing. You're like, I don't know what this person's intentions are. I don't know which direction we're going in, if any direction at all. Um, there's a lot of back and forth with this Knight of Wands reverse. Sometimes this person comes towards you and they want to make this work. And then other times they're pulling away for no reason at all. They're non-committal as hell with the Hierophant reverse. Now, whenever the teachers reverse, there's more lessons to be learned here with this person. So they may not feel like they have their life in order to even offer you anything. Maybe this is why uh, someone could be dragging their feet. But the only two cards here that were in the upright is the Five of Wands and the Lovers. But you're tired of the conflict. This could be with the Leo for some of you with this King of Wands. This person may feel like they're not on your level, Scorpio, or that they can't offer you what they know you desire and you want. I feel like if you would take this person as they are, things would be better. But you're like, no, I'm not going to do that because I know what I deserve. I'm here and I know what I deserve. So why would I just take you as is? Either you're going to come towards me the right way, we're going to have something we're going to build together, or you can go about your business and I can have this by myself because you're coming out as a nine of pentacles, the empress, and you have more coming in for you. You have more resources. I don't know, um, Scorpio, if there's something here that you don't see with the moon card here, something you're ignoring. I'm hearing don't ignore the red flags. When it comes to this person, you could also be dealing with the Pisces. Let's get one more. I'm hearing somebody can't keep up with you. You're too much for someone. But that's not your problem, right? I mean, what are you supposed to do? You're not supposed to um, dumb yourself down for anyone. All right, let's get one more, Scorpio. Give me one more for Scorpio. We have the star reverse and the two of cups. Yeah. Even though you love this person because the two of cups is right in the middle. Sometimes you feel like this is your person. Then other times, not. Sometimes you don't get this person. And you feel like uh, you're losing faith in this situation. You're losing faith that this could even work and be what you need it to be. So I see that some of you are going to be making some decisions when it comes to your connection, because you're like, okay, if this is not the relationship that I'm supposed to be in, then I'm not going to waste any more time being in it. But the Ten of Wands, the Seven, yeah, the Two of Pentacles. So we have the Strength card here, Leo Energy, Aquarius, and we have Aries Energy, the Tower.
somebody keeps doing you wrong and then sneaking back towards you to make it right or make it up to you and you're like uh this is just driving you crazy with the two of pentacles you're like what should i do about this it's annoying i feel like you're very annoyed with your person right now so those are the messages that i have for your reading scorpio thank you for watching my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye